And if you guys hear me saying it in 2022, please teleport through the screen and slap some sense into my mind because we're not using the hair typing system ever again. Hey guys, welcome to my Natural Academia. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a few things that I'm not gonna be taking into the new year, which is gonna be 2022. I don't usually ever make New Year's resolutions, but this year I feel like it wouldn't hurt to set a few goals because this year, 2021, I was just all over the place with my hair. There would be months I would pass where I wouldn't even know what to do with my hair because I just, just because I didn't really have any direction of what I even wanted to do with my hair. Like I went through phases of wanting to cut it. I went through phases of just wanting to not touch it for a couple months, which I did. I went. I think it was like two or three months without touching it this this past year and the year before i went six months without touching it which i got you know dragged on the internet for but it's okay we move on so this coming year the first thing that i'm not going to be doing or i'm going to try to make an effort to not do is measuring my hair or being so focused on growth like i'm done growing my natural hair i okay so first of all to begin with every time i let my hair out i just feel like I don't want to say I hate my hair. I love my hair. I just feel like it's too long, which is why I kind of feel this inkling in my, I don't want to say spirit, but I just feel this inkling in my mind to say, just cut it off every time I let my hair out. I feel like I have surpassed the goals that I've wanted for my hair, wanted for myself. This is the longest my hair has ever been, by the way, if you're new to the channel. My hair has never been this long in my life. And I'm at the point where it's just like, girl, just stop growing at this point because I'm, I'm, I'm done. My hair at its length right now, it doesn't look too long because it's braided up. My hair right now is very easy to manage, I will say, because I don't do anything to my hair at all. But when I do decide to do things to my hair, like these, these little braids with beads, it took nine whole hours to do what is is it just me does it take you guys nine hours to do your hair as well like or is it just because my hair has gotten to this length is it normal to be doing your hair for for that long like when when the girlies go to the salon and they get butt length hair i feel like that is what should be taking 10 hours but aside from those reasons i genuinely feel like measuring or the idea of having to always measure natural hair is kind of psychotic and or not i don't say psychotic it's kind of unnecessary because what other what other group of people are measuring their hair i just don't feel like it, it's natural to have to always measure your hair to see how much it's grown i also feel like it's a little bit discouraging to people too to see hair being measured all the time and then they're wondering what they're doing wrong I don't want people to feel bad when they when they see me measuring my hair. I feel like I'm so done with natural hair growth challenges, which is something that I've been doing on my channel for a little bit now, um, where I'll go a couple months without touching my hair, um, just to see how much my hair is able to grow. And I, I've come to the understanding and conclusion that my hair grows at a very normal rate. Last year when I didn't touch my hair for six months, I just let it sit in my braids and I washed it every three months and I re-moisturized it every two to three weeks. I was able to retain about three and a half inches all throughout my head aver on average. So there's no reason to keep measuring my hair to see how much it can grow. I just feel like it's very unnecessary at this point. I know my hair can grow. I know it's gonna keep on growing or I hope it does it. I don't know. I know it's gonna keep on growing um, as long as I don't get sick or nothing medically interferes with my hair growth process. I just don't feel like it's a healthy habit to always have to keep measuring my hair at this point. I'm just not really interested in having to always measure my hair or be so focused on how much is growing. I feel like this year and the year previously, I did a lot of attempting to grow my hair even though it grows on, at its own rate, uh, for lack of a better word. I'm just, I'm just tired of it. So I'm no longer going to be measuring my hair in 2022 or doing hair growth challenges i don't really think that i want to do that anymore although i do understand that it does help a lot of people that want to grow out their hair um just i don't know uh i guess maybe in some ways it might inspire people to not touch their hair as well i'm just i, I just don't want to do it anymore i'm just sick and tired of these hair growth challenges girl like i feel so unattractive sometimes when i'm sitting with my hair and these big chunky braids for weeks at a time. After the first month, I'm just like, dang, I started this challenge, I can't stop now. Anyway, so I don't wanna do that in 2022 and who knows, I may I may just do it anyways because I'm a human and my mind changes. I can sometimes be a little bit indecisive, but that's something that I don't wanna take into 2022. Another thing that I don't wanna take into 2022 is my big chunky braids that I love so very much, but 
I need to move on. It's time to move on from wearing the chunky braids. I feel like I've been wearing my chunky braids since my hair was about shoulder length. If not shoulder length, then definitely armpit length. I feel like I've been wearing my natural hair in these big braids for so long. And it does look beautiful on me, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I have the face for chunky braids and I'm probably still gonna be doing it anyways. As an in-between style before I do my actual styles, I feel like my hair is too pretty to be wearing these chunky braids. My New Year's resolution for my hair is to wear it as much as possible because my hair is not gonna look this cute forever and I just need to make the best of what I have now instead of um, always wearing my hair in these chunky braids. And I always get comments in the comment section of people saying, what's the point of having all the hair that you have if you're not gonna wear it? And I have sat on that question for a very, 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 very long time. And you're right, Mrs. Ma'am or Mr. Sir or whoever asked that question. I don't even think I had an answer for you. But I think at the time I just didn't really care to wear it. But now I do care to wear my hair out more. My hair is gorgeous. My hair is very pretty. And I just feel like I don't, I just feel like I personally don't experiment in regards to styling my hair as much as I would like to so this year in 2022 i would like to attempt to do a little bit more styling to my hair but who knows i may just end up not doing anything different to my hair but even simple things like mini braids or mini twists or i don't want to wear my hair in the big braids for consecutive months if i wear it in the big braids for one month i don't want to do it for the other month and this is why i'm even posting this video to kind of hold myself accountable a little bit whenever i'm starting to feel like uh, let me just wear my big braids. I'm gonna come back to the video. I'm gonna watch it and I'm gonna be like, hmm. Natural Academia, you need to get back on what you said you weren't gonna do on whenever you post this video. And to piggyback off the point of not wearing my big braids anymore, I'm growing a bald spot because I've been doing the same part on my hair for the past four years or five years. How many years it's been? Like I've been doing the same part on my hair since like 2016, I think. I'm pretty sure like the same middle part in my head has been there since 2016. I have not redone this part. And let me show you guys a little close up of what my head, I mean, okay, you guys can't really see the bald spot, but it's somewhere in there. Your girl is balding. I am balding because of this part that I have in the middle of my head. Every time I'm doing my hair and I see the bald spot, I'm just like, girl, you just need to change this part. But then I'm just like, ugh, it's so easy to do my hair on one half and then go on the other side and do it on the other half. But I need to change it up a little bit. Maybe do a part in the middle of my head one day and a part on the side. Girl, I don't know what I need to do, but I need to change this part or else I'm going bald in 2022. I'm being dramatic, but I don't wanna go bald. So yeah, that's another thing that I wanna try to do. I, I'm sure many of you guys can relate or some of you guys can relate. Better not to be able to relate to something like this than to actually have to relate to it. You know that one time where you left a part in your head for a long time and the whole perimeter of the part just started fading away into oblivion. So that's currently what I'm experiencing. And in 2022, I'd like to not keep doing the same middle part on my head because it's just not cute anymore. Another thing that I would like to stop doing to my hair or I would just like to not do in general is stop comparing myself to, to other people. I know you may be thinking, natural academia, what the hey does that have to do with hair? But I compare my hair a lot to other people's hair. I feel sometimes very naturally unattractive, um, especially when it comes to taking pictures with my hair out. That's another reason why I don't really wear my hair out often because whenever I do, the style that I create to leave the house is not the same style that I see when I come back inside the house after a long day of wearing my hair out. I've come to understand that like natural hair does different things. And when it came to like comparing my hair to other people's hair i wouldn't even compare my hair to people with the same texture as i do i would compare myself to anybody with hair on their head i'm like why doesn't my hair look as shiny as hers or why doesn't my hair lay flat as hers like i am a self sabotager sometimes i talk down on myself a lot more than i should i should probably seek therapy for it instead of venting here on youtube but here i am that's also something that I would personally just like to stop doing. I can't I can't keep dwelling on the fact that my hair looks matte. I don't use a lot of fancy products on my hair. I don't have a lot of styling butters and stuff. So the only things that I use on my hair is, you know, my one moisturizer and container of grease. I don't use anything else. And after a couple of days, my hair will start to look a little bit matte. And, and the other day I was out, I'm not gonna say where, but I just so happened to be taking pictures with some gals. 
and I just felt so not pretty because my hair looks so matte in comparison to theirs. Like theirs were all shiny and I don't know. I just, I just convinced myself that my hair didn't look as good as theirs because it wasn't shiny, which is such a, a dumb reason to think that your hair doesn't look good. But I think that mentality also kind of plays a role into why I don't really wear my hair out because aside from the fact that it's a lot of work to keep up with it while it is out, it starts to shape shift as you leave it out and just doesn't look like I imagine in my head. And I like to call myself a perfectionist. So if my hair doesn't look like I want it to, then I just, I'd rather just not wear it at all. And the last thing that I um, decided that I do not want to take into 2022, I'm going to leave it in 2021. I pretty much never really used it, but I've never formally said out loud that I'm not using it. And I get a lot of questions sometimes of people ask me what my hair texture is. And I usually just don't respond to them because girl, I've bashed the natural hair typing system for so long. I just assume that everybody knows that I don't use it, but now I'm just formally gonna say it. I'm, I don't identify with any hair texture on that little hair texture thing. But I will continue saying what my hair porosity and what my hair density is in throughout my videos, but I consider myself to have natural hair. I don't consider myself to be 4C, 4B, 4Z, 4F, cause y'all are toxic and very, I don't wanna say cult-like and very much mean and disrespectful to people that you have never met, seen, or touched in real life. So I will never be using that hair typing system ever in my entire life. And if you guys hear me saying it in 2022, please teleport through the screen and slap some sense into my mind because we're not using the hair typing system ever again. It is flawed and we understand that it is flawed. Granted, it does help some people, but it does not help me. And I feel like I've been going, I don't know, I haven't referred to my hair as being any hair texture for so long. It's almost like second nature now, but I'm formally not using the hair typing system in 2022. Aside from those, which I feel like it was only like three or four reasons. I don't really have any other things that I personally not take into 2022. I don't really do much with my hair um, as it is. Not really much to leave when you don't have anything to take with you, so. Uh, that's pretty much all that I had to say for this video. It's probably gonna be extremely short, but it's whatever. I really don't mind. If you guys have anything that you're probably gonna be leaving in 2021 and not taking into 2022, definitely leave a comment down below and I'll be interested to know or see what you guys are leaving in 2021. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns regarding anything that I said throughout the video, leave a comment down below as well and I'll be happy to answer and I'll see you guys next time.